Hello everybody, how are you doing? It's another Wednesday. Well, that means it's time for another iconic woman. Now today, if you're in the tech world, especially women in the technology world, then I got you because this particular woman that I'm going to be talking to today has been in that industry for 15 years. Mm -hmm. Now what stood out for me when it comes to her is her passion for young girls young girls who are interested in the technology world in creating solutions and this goes as far back as how you choose subjects in high school she's involved in all of that on the flip side she loves to tell stories she teaches people on how to tell stories so you know we're going to be in for one interesting storytelling session Mwikani, <laughs> nice to meet you and karibu to my home. Asante, you have such a beautiful home. Asante, karibu, feel, okay. feel free. Thank you. Yeah. thank you, thank you, thank you. You see, you go to some homes mm -hmm. and they're wall hangings mm -hmm. for different reasons, but here it's your family. Was yes. it intentional from the word go? Um, I would say it is, it's <laughs> intentional, but it's also the easier thing to do, I guess. <laughs> have an at mind I think at right, all? No, don't. I don't think I do so it's easier to just be like let's create memories let's take photos of families which is beautiful yes 15 years in I'm just gonna dive right in okay 15 mm -hmm. years in the mm -hmm. tech world yes. as a woman yeah is not easy I know they say oh there's so many there are many more women getting into that space mm -hmm. but it's not quite enough mm -hmm. because you'll still find spaces where women are celebrated just because they made it to that yes. point mm -hmm. just because they are women mm -hmm. but then going back because you've ac you've accomplished quite a bit <laughs> Why do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I find that hilarious. I find that funny. But anyway, let's continue. <laughs> let's go back to yes. you as a little girl. Okay. Were you all techie? Were you playing with dolls? Were you yes. gully gully? Mm. What kind of a girl was Candy? Um, you know, my mom loves to, to talk about me as a girl. Yeah. So she says I, I would stand, I was the entertainer. Um, yes. I would stand on tables and then recite poems to anyone who, care, who cared to listen. So I would be like, oh guys, I'm now, it's me here, listen to me. And I would go on and on. So they actually crafted a nickname for me where they would call me Sharp Sharp. Because, Sharp Sharp. Yes, I was like super opinionated. <laughs> so <laughs> As I guess a kid. It, starts, it starts early, yeah. Yes, but um, that was in Embu. So I was born, I, I was born in Embu, stayed in Embu for up to the age of 11, then moved to the village. So. Up to the age of 11, I was this bubbly, nice, outgoing girl. When you see village, you were in Embu Town, then moved back to the village? Yes, so Embu Town was like the city. You know, it was like, I, yeah, <laughs> it was like the city, it was like big deal, it was a provincial headquarters. So life was good, it was, it was good until that time. And I thrived in that environment. 11, then you moved back to the village. Yes. How was that for you? The transition from city life. Oh, I know. If we could call it like that. city, yes. Yeah, because it was quite literally city yes. life, and now oh, you have to go back to the village. And yes. what prompted that? Um, so interesting. My my dad decided to go back to school okay. to study computer science. Oh. So then, as a family where we had two incomes previously, now it was one income. And my mom strained so much because she's, she's a primary, she just retired last year, but she retired as a primary school teacher. And of course, as you know, civil servants, primary school teacher um, for children, really yeah, had yeah. life. It was prestigious though, being a it teacher, was. Like, it was like Kongwalimu. Yes. It was a big deal, but then, yeah. yeah. It was, but it was, it was hard to keep the, the town lifestyle. Yeah. And then, of course, in the village, the first thing our parents did back then was construct a home in the village. So she thought, uh, best idea, let's get out of this town where we are we're struggling to make ends meet and go to the village. Now, being a preteen, 
up quickly approaching teenage that really affected me um like i said up to the age of 11 i was i was very bubbly i was um outgoing i was the girl who was super happy so it took me so long to actually um acknowledge that yeah. indeed we had moved back and i didn't even tell my friends so everyone thought we still live in embu uh, so the village was hard it was hard and it's not the village as we know it now it's the village where it's all dusty roads it's there is no electricity um you're having to go fetch firewood and yeah. fetch water and yeah was it a day school boarding or you had to make the trips every day to school uh thank god i was in boarding oh thank god yeah. yes <laughs> <laughs> I know. Thank God I was in boating. So the, as 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 much as it was only three months, I needed to be back in the village. It was yeah. the most traumatizing three months ever. And then of course the one year after you finish um, form four, form okay. four. Okay. class eight and no no, 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 no form, form four. Form yes. four. Form when four you finish form four, you're like because yes. you, you, somehow we we needed to stay for a year. Yes, right. Back then, right now, at least yes. they're not doing that. Now they don't do that. Yeah. Yeah, so that was all oh, that year I was had. Every day I would sleep and I'm like, when am I leaving this place? And I would tell my mom, you know, when I leave for the city because I'm leaving for Nairobi, oh. I'm not coming back. And she'd think, you can't say that. I'm like, I'm serious, mom. And indeed, when I came, <laughs> <laughs> you were those kids. Ali uh, 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 <laughs> yes, I was those ones. <laughs> <laughs> I was also ones of uh, she's not coming back. She's it's, but I would be like, Mom, we're fine. And then you know there was no cell phone. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So we had to figure out a way of keeping in touch and being like, okay, she's fine. Yeah. Were you the first one? Uh, I'm the second one. Second I have an one. older okay. brother. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And back then, what did you want to be? I mean, you mm. have a computer scientist. Yes. As yes. Your dad, and you have a teacher here. Yeah. Uh, so. What I clearly remember is yeah. after my dad went, because I was, I was big enough. At that point, I remember thinking to myself, what he's doing is so cool. Because yeah. he would wake up at night, he's writing code, he would be so stressed. Then he would be so excited all of a sudden because he's figured out um, how to complete the code. And I'm like, that, that seems exciting. So I, <laughs> we sort of got into a pact with him and we're like, I'm like, I'm going to study computer science. And he says, amazing, yes, let's do it. So between him and my mom, my mom being a teacher, she encouraged me to do maths and sciences. And yeah. for him, he's like, anytime, Candy, just do it. Yeah. That's a beautiful background because I figure two things. Mm -hmm. The bubbly girl was a born leader. Yes. Yeah. Not scared, yeah, she yeah. will do for whatever she wants. Yeah. And if I have an audience, well, oh, why not? Why not? <laughs> yes. And then the other one where you get an influence of getting to be interested in computers and coding at yeah. a very, very young age. Yeah. So when you went to high school, were you keen on those subjects? Because what mm. She Goes Tech does mm. is also be keen to tell students, if you are interested in mm. this, this and this and this could lead you to get into this kind of environment mm. later in life. Um, so that transition, and I'm, I'm very I'm very aware of it now, the, in terms of when I have my friends and they have their younger children, pre-teens or going into teenage. As much as I was very bubbly and appearingly a born leader when I was young, yeah. because of the change now of, of going back to the village, and I keep saying that a lot, I became very self-aware. And when you're very self-aware, it's, it's crippling. You can't do much. So by the time I was going to high school, I wasn't your most confident girl. Yes. Uh, actually, high school was hard for me. It was very hard. And that is the reason I go back to high school, to just tell girls, you know, you cannot change your environment, you cannot dictate, at, up, up to a particular, they say who you are up to the age of 20 is yeah. on your parents, who you are from the age of maybe 20, 25 to some, after that is on you. you, yes. And so I like to remind girls in high school, the situation you're in right now, even though you don't like it, it actually passes and it stops to be a big deal. Because at that time you're thinking life is ending. Yeah. As in it is the end of everything. Because <laughs> teenage, you know, first teenage is hard. Yes. Then the environment around you has changed. So that's why I go back. That, that's why I do She Goes Tech. To just remind girls again, think back to your best version of yourself, which most likely, if it's not when you're in teenage, is just before you, you grew a little. Yeah then remember that girl is still who you are and build on that. So uh, you say you struggled through mm. uh, high school. Mm. What are some of the challenges that you went through as yeah. a teenager at that mm. point? Um, 
so the change of there is this thing about your your okay i don't know about now but then it was cool to be from town to yeah. be from the city to be from so i came from the cool people to the people who are from the village and now and, you still <laughs> hang on to yes, yeah and and i still want to identify as the cool child so so i really struggled to own my new identity and also the bit because after that the um, money was hard for us as in as a family and i remember one of the hardest moments i had in high school when i was actually chased away because of school fees and because i portray myself as i want to portray myself as this cool girl then somehow you're being chased away because there's no school fee yeah. <laughs> and you're like uh -uh, i'm not supposed to be in that group and girls will not keep quiet about this <laughs> of course <they> don't. <laughs> kids are not kind yeah, no, uh, no. as we know kids kids uh, when we are kids yeah it's just that we're kids but kids are not kind yeah and so then um i i wanted to leave a certain like um life of yeah to show like i'm from privilege as well but yet i'm not yeah. so i ended up being naughty here and there yeah, so I know I'm, I'm a good girl. Moja Ivia Mambili. Uh, uh, I was suspended. You were? I was, I was joking, but yeah. hey. I, I was, I was. And that was like the hardest. That was the hardest because my mom is, is like discriminating yeah, to the is. end. What? She's a teacher, right? Yeah. Um, so <laughs> it's the other day we were joking. Actually, we met as, as uh, uh, high schoolers. Yeah. And we were remembering those days, and I'm like, there's one I missed. You know, I was like, I don't know if I missed because they didn't see me to, yeah. to be suspended. I was supposed to be suspended. For what, Kendra? Uh, please. Uh, <laughs> the, one I was, please. the one I was suspended, what, was that, what had I done? Um, was it onions? No. What do you mean onions? I know. You know how you go to the shamba? There was agriculture, right? Yes. So then there's the onions which are planted yes. by agriculture students. students. Then you go and you... Pick. You ongeza kwa uh, Of course. You ongeza for, in the githeri so as it can taste nicely. My producer does not do that kind of thing. Oh, she doesn't? Which is cool. Which oh, her she's... Yeah, yeah, okay, so. okay, got it. Okay. Yeah. RBA. That's what she's like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, her beer like, oh yeah. I don't even know how we were caught. How were we caught? I don't remember. Because we went at night, obviously. Yeah. You, you, you wouldn't go during the you, day. You go scouting. Oh, <clears throat> no, it's because my friends, I did home science, but my friends had done ah. agriculture, so they knew where we were going. So you can see how naughty I am, that I'm home science, but then I've been tolerated by agriculture kids, as in we go look for onions. Anyway, so we were caught, and I think that's when I was suspended. I can't remember quite. Yeah. But on one of the times, somehow, my name wasn't called. Yeah. In I am pretty loud. I never got a suspension. You didn't? No, imagine. Okay. Like, I'm a good person, good yeah. citizen. Oh, but I I'm also good. And stuff. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm also a good yeah. person. Just Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> I'm <agree>. responsible <laughs> Kenyan. I pay taxes. I'm, I go to church. I pray. I raise a family. Uh, you know, this you know. video, your kids will come across this video <laughs> later know. in life. In probably <laughs> high school, they're like, Mom. I came home, I, we prayed they are never suspended. Yes. But then you'll be like, so mom, there's a video here. Uh, oh, shut up, my kids. <laughs> yes. It's like, mom, before, you're right. Before, mm. before. Here. Yeah. yeah. No, but we, we are we are easy. We are truthful with each other. That's important. Yes, and they they know they know me. So I'll I'll be like, it's fine. Life, it's not. It doesn't have to be too serious. Yeah. Yeah. So you had a beautiful influence in even the subjects that you chose for your form four. Was it? Um, so because now I was so busy being distracted by everything else <laughs> in high school, uh -huh. when it got to form, we we used to choose what form two end right in the, that form, time. Form, form two, two go, yes. so that you can go into form three. Into form yes. three. Ideally, I would have done uh, pure physics and maths because I loved that, yeah. and uh, maybe bio. 
because yeah. I loved the bio teacher. Oh, she was amazing. Yeah. Chem before I, you do the what was that thing? The organic chem before you figure out the organic chem the and everything. C zeros and yes, many other I know things. those ones. I was yeah. like, no, this doesn't look cool. So anyway, um, because now form two came too soon. Yeah. When we were choosing, I realized just to physical sciences because you don't quite know what you're gonna do. And then physical sciences had everything, mm -hmm. and it wasn't. It was said it was not going to be as tough as if you do a pure version of the subjects. So that's what I chose, and that helped because at least even with physical sciences, then I had an array of to choose from of what to do. Um, when I was done, it was kind of obvious that I was going to do computer science. Okay. And so that's how I got into the world of tech. Uh, of course, as I said previously, my dad played a key, key, key role. Into that. Yes, into that, but my mom as well, because my mom was a maths teacher and a science teacher as well. So she, she made me understand the basics early. And she also used to mark, um, actually this is what changed my whole perspective when I got into Form 4, because mm -hmm. in Form 4 that's when I woke up to study. Um, yes, when I realized the only way out of high school is KCSC and there's no other shortcut, I no, just have to get this is yes. it. Four years later. Four years later. So we sat with my mom and I'm like, uh, so she, she knew, I'm her daughter, so she understood me. So she's like, you're in crisis. I'm like, yes, mom, I'm in crisis. In October, I have to sit for these exams. So because she used to mark um, Form 4 exams and all that, they used to go and just analyze and she, she used to be part of the people who marked. She told me, Believe it or not, Kendi, the easiest way for you to do well in high school yeah. is to actually do ma maths and the sciences because most of the girls don't. Yeah. And because they don't, um, what happens when they look at the, the country average, they bring it a bit lower. So you, even though you score 50% in a maths exam, chances are that will, will be at least a B. Oh. Yes. Okay. So when she gave me that trick, then I realized, and then what, what are you doing? You're only understanding formulas and, you know, all those things. You're understanding formulas and, and just uh, mastering, like, a few uh, units. Then I was like, this works. So that's how I got, that's how I actually got out of high school successfully. <laughs> that's what it. helped me, yes. <laughs> that's what helped me. Okay, mm. that's great. So computer science, you went straight into it yes. after mm. the one year mm. in the a village. What is the name of the village? Ah, it's Meko Village. Meko. Yes, it's Meko. It's in it's in Nidhi County. You know where, where the boats come from. That's what, yeah, I know. It's called Meko. Okay, Meko yeah. Village. So you mm. spent a whole year, mm. and then you that went year to was uni. Tough. Yes. Yeah, was it a I direct entry? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I went to college and and uh, started out with computer science, and then after that I did now. How many I girls were in that class? We were few. Maybe. Five out of sixty. What? Yeah, we were few. Wow. Yeah. Okay. We were few. How was that for you, getting into a field where it's just boys and like you, just a handful of girls? You get used to it. Um, you get used to it. You you learn how to to just make it work. Yeah. So it it was interesting and it was exciting in itself. But it was just a setup. What I didn't realize it was a set for the rest of your career yes the rest of the career um and when i finished that i remember the first job i got did all the girls finish we all did that okay good yeah yeah just check. yeah yeah we did we did the scores different but we finished <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay <In> the, yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 so. <laughs> Um, so then I, then I went into the field now to, now to, to practice and my first job was a big title job, which was, I was an, oh, I was an assistant IT, assistant IT manager. Wow. Big title. That, what, I know. That was your first job? That was my first job. I was paid 15,000 bob. Oh. Wow. That's a <laughs> lot before or after, oh, after tax. <laughs> I know. It wasn't taxed. <laughs> okay. Yes. But manager who kona 15,000. And kona 15,000. I'm yes. a manager. I'm yes. doing very well. I feel good. Um, they give us lunch. Oh, my mom was proud. She'd come and see me and she'd be like, oh, you're doing so well. <laughs> my oh, mom, I am. But anyway, so so there's no I was going to go back to the village. Remember, I left the village. You're not going back. Yes, there's no I was going to go back to the village. And um, I did that. Then I realized I had yeah. a big title, but what I was doing was blowing machines. I was... You <laughs> lie. It was maintaining. <laughs> 
<laughs> it was maintaining computers and all that. And maintaining computers was actually a blower. You know, like what we use for the hair yes. without the, the kitchener. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> you're blowing around because you need to dust it off and then fix a few uh, keys here and there. And that was... Yes. Manager? Uh-huh, of course. Did uh, you have like a business card? <laughs> I Complete did. the title. I did. Ooh. I did. And okay. I would say who I am and, and they'll be like, oh, she has such a cool job. She's so senior. Yeah. Anyway. So then I realized that <laughs> that's not the job I want. I don't want to be behind the machine being the one blowing and raising, lifting things up and all of that. Yeah. And I also remember that I enjoyed um, writing code and I, I enjoyed building applications. So I thought... Um, for applications, you're usually solving a business problem. How about, because I understand how to do it, how about I look for a job where I'm the one who talks to the business people to understand, for them to understand how they can use tech for ah, business. Okay. And so that is how now I ended up on the business side of IT. Okay. So after uh, the big title of IT assistant manager, I got my first business related IT job. Uh, amazing firm. I love that they gave me an opportunity. So we were doing very well, based in Westlands. You know, everyone wanted to work in Westlands. Westlands like I know cool it place. was like the cool place. Yeah. And so I would, I would, yeah. I would go to Westlands. Um, then after a year of doing that job so well, mm -hmm. the company was going down, and then they decided to start selling peripherals in the retail market, mm -hmm. in the chains, in the like the Uchumi supermarket chains. So then I was given the opportunity to go and be on the retail side of selling. So I looked, I'm like, I surely, I was supposed to be speaking to corporates. <laughs> now you're selling merchandise. <laughs> yes, I'm not supposed to be merchandising. As much as you're telling me it's IT things, I'm not supposed to be merchandising. Yeah. And there's no problem with that. But surely, no, I, I'm supposed to be talking, going, you know, wearing suits, going, talking to corporates, talking big things, yeah. big solutions. So I was flattered that I was given the opportunity, but I was like, you know what, let me not. So let me not. And Did you have a way out? No, I didn't. And but the way out no. was not to go to the village. We're, not, we're still not going back. No, we are not going back. Just Christmas? Uh, yes, Christmas? no, Christmas I went. Okay, just joking. <laughs> you go and say thank you, surely. They are the folks. Yeah, I went. No, but there's no way there's no, I was going to go back. Relocate yes, back. Yes, yeah. yes, relocate back. And I was, I just, I just had this, you know, this inner assurance that yeah. somehow, I'll get a job. How? I don't know. But I was like, you'll get a job. Uh, but meanwhile, I was like, oh, immediately after I finished now the first study, I went back to school, as in to just study the business side of, of everything. So anyway, um, so in that, in that period, I was like, okay, what do I do? So I had a roommate. She used to run... Um, she used to run the marathon, the breast cancer uh -huh. uh, marathon. So mm -hmm. I, I would volunteer, I would volunteer, I would keep myself busy. I started to learn how to to, to do French. Then I realized I'm not good with languages. Oh, uh, I know bonjour, but that's yeah. that's that's the end. Okay. As, uh, though I went to class for you three did. months. Yeah, but that's the end. So that tells you. <laughs> that tells you. <laughs> I'm not good with languages. <laughs> but anyway, that aside. Um, so when going through that, actually I met, I met very interesting people and I met this guy who, who was consulting for Pesa Point at the time. Mm -hmm. He, he liked how I carried myself through the, in the volunteering and everything. And he's like, maybe I should recommend you for a job at, at Paynet. Paynet was, is what used to do Pesa Point. And I'm like, that would be brilliant. So he did. And I got my next job. Oh. Yes, at, at least I do. and they were doing IT stuff because I told them, yes, I have an IT background, I'm interested in business, I can talk business, I can actually be very confident, I can represent the company very well. And that was my first job. It was um, account management. So the first job I had gotten, the one the, for the firm which I stayed for, for a year, it yeah. was a sales job. Okay. And after that, when I left, now when I was living doing retail, we had a pact with God, I'm like, I God, I'm not... Not a sales job, please. Not a sales job, don't make me... Please. Um, so anyway, so when this other job came, yeah. account management, business development, but also with a tech angle to it, 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 was, it was very appealing. Okay. So I went for it and I stayed in Paynet for, for three years. Wow. And the reason I left Paynet is because, um, again, now I, I was living the dream, as in I was now being paid, what, 50, 54,000 shillings. I was doing yeah. very well. Title? 
Um, I was I was a, an account manager. Still a manager. It's yeah, so there's a manager yeah, to the title, manager. so cool. it worked. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Oh, and then sometimes randomly I would appear in the newspaper, you know, because I'm demonstrating how to use the POS terminal. You know, you know yeah. those days we were bringing channel banking. So I had arrived. I felt, yani, I was doing very well. But anyway, <laughs> I digress. So. <laughs> Uh, so in, while I was doing that, because we would we would bid for business and then would go and banking was our primary um, focus market. Yeah. So what is very interesting is some one of our competing firms, their MD, every time would see me because I would go and represent the company. Every time would see me go and represent Paynet, and then because he was a partner for HP, because the OEM sell through local companies which are partners. He was asked by HP, do you know anyone who can do this job we need to hire? And he said, I know a lady, she's called Candy. And that's how HP called me. And that's how I got into HP. Oh my God. So as they say, the rest is history. Yeah. Because after that, every other job I've gotten, it's been in a similar way. So um, someone sees the job I'm doing, then they recommend. And I go through, of course, the process. And I get the job. And then you realize the whole mefika, but I don't. Ask one mefika. I hadn't arrived, so, but now you see, you see how we are vain as human beings. It's true. You get this pay, then you now you, you dream. You're like, okay, God, all I need is a six figure salary so I can buy a car. You know those things. It's true. So and it's, it's the same thing. I told you you have accomplished quite a lot, and you're like, <laughs> stop. It is empowering and car. <laughs> It's Bangani, yeah. Bangani is the one that has a bridge to Kobarabara. You still want it to be in school and out of school at yeah. the same time. Hiya. So, Tuanzetena. Tori. Oh, Tori.